Um, I'm not really up to a big conversation tonight. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah, I could tell there was something wrong. I mean, if living with Chase isn't working out or... What? No, we're fine. Why would you jump to that conclusion? I'm... I'm just sensitive to a man running a woman's life. I am too. But Chase is nothing like that at all. He's amazing and very supportive. Good. It's good to hear, as long as you're happy. I hope in time that you can, you know, learn to trust me to support you too. Wiley's fathers were in a car accident. What, are they okay? Brad has only minor injuries, but Lucas is in a medically induced coma. But what about Wiley? Was he in the car? Thankfully, no. Wh who's looking after him? Lucas has a big family. Right now, he's with his godfather, Michael. Do you get to see him? Michael has been very generous about giving me time with Wiley. Do you think uh, maybe I could meet my grandson? Mom, Wiley is not your grandson. Wiley is Brad and Lucas's son. They are kindly allowing me to be part of his life on a limited basis. Well, I can imagine that they're grateful you entrusted them with Wiley and you went above and beyond to protect the adoption when Shiloh tried to disrupt it. I want Wiley to be happy. And part of that is respecting boundaries. I, I would not feel comfortable giving you access without Brad and Lucas's permission. I understand. I will follow your lead when it comes to Wiley. I'm just thankful to be part of your life. I have your word that Wiley's off limits. I promise I will not go near him unless or until I have your permission. Would you like to see a picture? I don't think there's any harm in that. I'd love to. Oh, he's so handsome. I think so. Oh, he's very bright. He has the sweetest smile. Oh. <laughs> I should get going. I have to get back, so I'm not late checking in. I'll be on touch. Baby. Love you too, Mom.